Hello and welcome to Solar Motion VFX. We'll be looking at uh, integrating a package into UTPS3 and with Blaze. So right now we just have a simple AI set up here with Blaze. We're not going to go through how to set up the Blaze AI. There are plenty of tutorials on that. Uh, but for now we're just going to show you how easy it is to make this work with the integration package. The link will be in the description. So right now if we play the scene, I can shoot the AI, shoot at him. But uh, nothing really happens. And why I can shoot at him? My enemy has the tag and layer of enemy. And the TPS character has player and player. On my gun, you can see that it has this bullet prefab. If we click on the bullet, and the bullet here has these different uh, impact effects. That's why you see it's gonna shit up blood when it hits it on impact because it has the tag of enemy. So that's only why that's only why I can detect it. So it has nothing to do with the integration yet. As for Blaze AI itself, to be able to detect, it's as simple as you go into the Blaze component, I mean into the vision, uh, set up, let's see here, targets, and then uh, layers to detect, player, and enemy, and uh, hostile and alert layers, player, and this importantly, hostile tags, player as well. That's how it, uh, it's able to detect me. Let's import the package. So go to asset, and then import package, custom package, I call this place AI UTPS integration version one. Let's get this in, and it will give you a place AI health, a custom one I made, and then enabling a hitbox, hitbox damage, um, to, to damage able to damage the UTPS, and of course we have modified these uh, two components inside the UTPS damager and bullet himself. Import those. Once those are imported, right away you should be able actually to shoot. Yes. Shoot and damage the AI, including the katanas because of the damager, and also with the hands. And you see he's playing the hit animations when he's getting hit. Okay, so that works. Okay, so <clears throat> once imported, you'll get this uh, new folder called custom scripts, and this custom scripts you need to add in. A health component. So this Blaze AI health, just drag that in onto your AI, and let's now try to shoot him again. See, he's losing the health. If you look at the right corner, or if you look at the right Blaze AI health, he's subtracting damage, and there he dies. Pretty cool. So that's how the integration work. Uh, so you'll be able to damage the uh, Blaze. Now the way Blaze is built up by itself, uh, it leaves uh, the damaging to to the play up to you. So there's million tons of ways you can do that. So uh, these two components I created here was basically just a demo for you to test out how that works, how to damage a UTPS. But how you want to damage the UTPS up to yourself, you can do by collision, by trigger, raycast, so many things. But if you take a simple one, let's just go into his hands, the golems, the golem, the AI's hand here. And I renamed this to hitbox. I added in a box collider. Move that a little bit, like so, and then I'm gonna add this uh, hitbox damage. In this script, basically, you can just add how much you want to uh, damage uh, when you're hitting him with the hands. Now, on your AI itself, you have to put this enable hitbox here, and here I have made two empty uh, rooms for you to fill to it in a left hand and a right hand. So right now we're only gonna test for this. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna test out with the right hand hitbox. Put it in here. Now open the script. Inside this very simple script, you can see I have referenced these two uh, box colliders. I have called them right box, left box. What's important is that you need to make an animation event. In this case, like I said before, there's other ways to do it, but I'm using animation events. And I call them these enable hit and disable box. You can call them whatever you want, okay? So what's important here is that for the animation event, go into your AI and look at his attack animation. Two hit combo. So that's this one. Open that one up. Go into the animation, uh, go into the events. And then here you will see I have created animation events by dragging around here, right here when he hits this one. I call it enable hit, and then at this frame here, I call it disable box, and at this frame here, enable hit again, 
and in this frame disable box so enable disable and then enable and this should be of course for the left hand so this one is the right hand disable that left hand and disable okay and it's important that these name conventions here exactly as they're written should be the same as inside the script should be the exactly the same as these two enable hit and disable okay let's see if we can take damage now and uh, if you encounter that uh, he has hard time uh, detecting you then, then just go into your tps character and increase a little bit the capsule collider let's test it out and let's open tps character and look at his health this one here and we set the damage to 10 yeah he's hitting me and i'm losing damage over there of course you can go in and uh, enable ragdoll yourself uh, when you get a hit but uh, right now the integration works he takes damage i'm losing health you can see i'm losing 10 every each time and that's uh, due to the hitbox from the golem if you look at the hitbox we set this to 10 right so that's pretty awesome and i should be dead in a moment yeah that is cool so that's pretty cool i need to text me i'm dead so uh, that's it for this short integration guys leave a comment this is just version one but uh, this integration definitely works with both his saw his hands and his weapons so uh, please leave a like and a comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye